up is um, a wonderful partnership with my friend Farida as a consequence of both of us having breast cancer. And after her treatment, we talked about the ways in which you can support each other um, without doing like a marathon or some excessive exercise. And I said to Farida, wouldn't it be lovely to do a play? Because I'd just started acting at the time. She says, well, let's do it. I've been thinking of uh, doing something similar, but very different to the vagina monologues. Do you understand? You've got breast cancer and this is serious. And I said, you know what? What is the worst thing that can happen? Well, it had happened. He really loves my great big tits. <laughs> and now they've got to go. We've been invited to do this big event with some women. There's a hundred women being recruited into this charity event to do a performance. And we're gonna get 20 women and work with those 20 women to put on a different and new performance called Get It Off Your Chest. So how I feel now is, well, just magnificent really, because I've seen these women grow, I suppose as me and Farida grew, in confidence, in letting go of all this horrible stuff that's happened, that's clogs your mind up. What's that thing over there lurking in the gloom? You're not hallucinating. That's the elephant in the room. Big C, never far away. When I heard it was comedy and cancer, how could you resist that, really? <laughs> I'd like to flip and shoot it. <laughs> I think breaking taboos and talking about something and laughing at it is really healthy because if it always stays in the shadows, people are always going to be scared of it, uh, and that's not helpful. <laughs> Thanks for the chat. You are a good friend. No, I'm a very bad friend, and I'm very, very drunk. <laughs> Nobody teaches you. How do you talk to someone who's just been diagnosed or someone in your family? Um, so yeah, I think people are scared of it. Uh, we did Maggie's on the runway about three years ago. So I first got involved with that um, and I've helped ever since. And then this came up and I felt like I wanted to get involved again because I've just been uh, diagnosed again now. So I'm now secondary breast cancer, it's gone in my lung. So I'm incurable. So I think it's about getting the word out really. I'm a nurse at Christie's as well. So I see it first hand. <laughs> Child sharks. I'm here, darling. And you can stop crying, I know. Nothing's going to stop me now. You know, I mean, people have got this thing about the mammograms and the stuff, and then it hurts and stuff. But do you know what? On the grand scheme of things, you know, 30 seconds of your life c can save your life, can't it? So it's, a, it's about promoting and educating people that it, it's nothing to be scared of. Radiology! <laughs> I work as a radiographer, so you know it's quite. A, you never think it's going to be you. Uh, so I thought, what am I going to do? Didn't want to strip off. Not into doing that. So I thought, oh, tits up. I've never been on stage, but I thought, I don't know, why not give it a go? Really. So it's all right, your family, but they don't really know what it, what's going on. They everybody's all oh, you dead strong. Just get on with it, and I am. But. Meeting everybody else now and seeing, hearing their stories, it's, it's given me help and support as well, actually. Yeah, it's been great. You won't get nervous. You really won't get nervous. They don't allow you to get nervous. The support you get and the encouragement you get, you don't get time for ner being nervous. And there's definitely life after breast cancer. It doesn't need to, it doesn't need to dictate you. You, de you decide on how you want to play it. I know people mean well, but it didn't help when they said how beautiful I looked. And when you share, because you're sharing with like-minded people, there's, there's something unwritten that doesn't even have to be explained. People just get what you mean. I think in future, if I encounter someone in this situation, I'll sympathise, empathise, and remind them that it will pass. Lots of 
lots of people try to understand and it, I think it's one of those things if you haven't worn the t-shirt then you you know perhaps you don't quite quite get it you know but however well meant but yes it's been lovely chatting with people um, sharing their experiences, putting your own experience into some sort of perspective as well. I'm four years post breast cancer. Um, I think you need to share uh, what you went through honestly and uh, as bluntly as you can. It's a long journey. I think people don't and don't realise that uh, the journey carries on after you finish treatment. Um, and I don't think I'm at the end of my journey yet. There's still more to discover. Uh, but what is giving me is clarity and clarity on that what I want my future to look like and who I want in my life. I think getting it off your chest, which is obviously the name of the play, is just so important in order to not have it all built up inside and deal with it more positively. I feel like it's my wedding day, just such an amazing thing to be part of. It's the silver lining and we're all so honoured and dead proud and you've got something bigger to focus on, which is so important because while you're here, you're here and you might as well enjoy being here. So. It's highlighted some people that maybe didn't think they could do stuff, but also some of us that have some talents that why don't we just showcase it, we might as well. I wish I could just make you turn around Turn around and see me cry There's so much I need to say to you So many reasons why You're the only one who really knew me at all So take a I think it's been really cathartic and a lot of the women have been extremely inspirational and I think we've built a really strong sisterhood. To remind me just a memory of your face Take a look at me now We didn't think about going big but we've gone big and we're really happy.